Welcome to the Quick Start AutoCAD 2010 video course. In this first video about what's new in AutoCAD 2010, we're going to discuss some of the new features available very briefly. We will then look at these in more detail as we go through the Quick Start course. When you first install AutoCAD 2010, there are three initial setup screens. I can't show you these because I've already installed AutoCAD 2010 on my laptop computer. What these initial setup screens allow me to do is they allow me to customize my workspaces and allow me, if I'm an architect, to set up an architectural workspace. If I'm an electrical engineer, they allow me to set up an electrical engineering workspace. There is also the default AutoCAD workspace available as well. These are down here on the status bar here. If I hover over 2D drafting and annotation and click here, you can see there's my workspaces there. I've got the standard ones, 2D drafting and annotation, 3D modeling, AutoCAD Classic. I've got the ones that I migrated from AutoCAD 2009, and there's my initial setup workspace there. That's the one that I would set up in those initial setup screens. Let's have a look now at the screen in AutoCAD 2010. You still have your drawing area here, but what you'll notice if you look at the ribbon at the top of the screen now, you'll see that the ribbon panels are color coded. When you hover over a panel, it highlights with a color. It's the same with the icons as well. Everything is much neater and tidier now. Notice the three rows of icons on each ribbon panel. As you can see as well, you now have the big red A in the top left corner of the screen. This was called the menu browser in AutoCAD 2009 and it replicated the pull down menus from previous versions of AutoCAD. In AutoCAD 2010 it is now known as the application menu and when you click on the arrow next to the big red A there you'll see that it's a very different menu, it's process driven now. So for example if I went to save as it gives me the option to save as an AutoCAD drawing, a template, a DWS file or other formats. If I went to print here as well for example you can see that I have lots of different options available to me. So if I went to page setup it opens up the page setup manager dialog box for me and allows me to edit the page setups in the current drawing. I don't need to edit any page setups here so I'm going to close that. It was purely me demonstrating a new feature in the application menu. If I just click on the application menu one more time you've also got other options here as you can see where you can open documents you can look at recent documents, that's this list here and you can also go to the options screen in AutoCAD and you can also exit AutoCAD. So if I click on options I can go and work with the options in AutoCAD and edit and change as I need to. I don't need to in this case, I'm going to cancel that there. Now the other thing that you'll notice at the top of the screen next to the A is you've still got the quick access toolbar here as you had in AutoCAD 2009. You've got new, open, save, undo, redo and plot. You'll also notice there's a little flyout arrow here. If I click on it now in AutoCAD 2010 you can customize the quick access toolbar. As you can see the ones with the ticks are the commands that are already existing on the toolbar and as you can see there's lots of editing tools as well. We're going to cover those in more depth in the quick start course. This now ends the first part of what's new in AutoCAD 2010. Please now move on to part two of what is new in AutoCAD 2010. This is part two of what's new in AutoCAD 2010 and what we're going to do here is primarily look at the new ribbon features in AutoCAD 2010. Now you'll notice that we have the home tab here at the top of the screen and as you can see we also have insert which is a new tab and as you can see we can insert blocks attributes, references, we can import, we can put data in, we can link and embed and we've also got content here where we can use Autodesk Seek which searches the Autodesk Seek website for content relevant to the keywords entered in this box here. We will cover that in more detail throughout the Quick Start course. We also have a new tab here, the Parametric tab. Now these are new features for AutoCAD 2010 only and what they allow you to do is apply 
geometric and dimensional constraints to objects in AutoCAD, allowing you to parametric model within AutoCAD. So for example, I have a line here that is horizontal. I also have a line here that is at an angle. I want the angled line to always remain parallel to the horizontal line. So if I use the parallel constraint here, I click on it, I select the horizontal line first, and then I'm going to select the left hand end of the angled line because I want it to go from this point here. So I click here, and as you can see, that line now will always be parallel to that line there. As you can see, that little blue symbol that appears indicates that they are constrained. What we also have is we have a new Manage tab, and this allows us to manage our AutoCAD drawings. So we have the Action Recorder, we have Customization, Applications that can be run within AutoCAD. Notice as well now we have CAD Standards. These have sort of taken a bit of a back seat over the last few years and now we have a CAD standards panel on the ribbon so that we can run DWS files against DWG files. Another new tab is the Express Tools tab and what this allows you to do here is work with the Express Tools in AutoCAD. These have been around for quite some time, quite a few years and a lot of these Express Tools have been written by individuals or organisations that use AutoCAD. One of my favourites here is the Arc Aligned Text. If I click here and come into the drawing, it prompts me to select an arc or some Arc Aligned Text. I'm going to select my arc here, and as soon as I click there, it prompts me now to put the Arc Aligned Text in the dialog box there. I can select a font or a text style, I'm going to select the Vedana font, and the text that I'm going to put in there is, this is Arc Aligned Text like so. So as you can see there I've put some text into the dialog box. This is a metric drawing so I'm going to make the text height 6 millimeters and the text is going to be offset from the arc by 3 millimeters. When I click on OK it takes a few seconds to think about it and then what it will do is it will place that text around the arc for me. So as you can see there's the arc aligned text. It does take a few seconds just to think about that sometimes because it's actually figuring out how to place those letters aligned to that arc. So as you can see, lots of new features, lots of new smaller features available in AutoCAD 2010 to allow you to be more productive and more effective. We're going to cover all of the new features in AutoCAD 2010 throughout this quick start course.